You are now listening to About That Business, hosted by Rom Wills. Rom Wills is an entrepreneur and personal coach who has helped people reach their fullest potential personally and professionally. Take it away, Rom. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Sunday morning simulcast by Rom Wills. I'm Rom Wills. Who are you really? Who are you really? You know what? We live in a mask society. Everybody's wearing a mask. And the funny thing is, people don't know that they're wearing masks. People don't realize it. Now, what do I say? It's not like they're just uh, putting on like a false facade, though that is a mask. And some people are doing that, but it's, it's actually deeper than that. How many people identify, not by their essence, not by who they are, but how many people identify maybe by their family? Like people outside of them, like I'm a part of this family, I'm one of them. I'm one of them Joneses, I'm one of them Smiths, right? How many people go further and identify themselves by their fraternity or their sorority? Or what school that they went to? How many people identify themselves by their profession? Like uh, something um, many women would do. They'll say, I'm going to get me a doctor. I'm going to get me a lawyer. Or I'm going to get me a baller. You know? Or men say, well, I'm, I'm going to get me. I'm going to get me an IG woman. Instagram woman. Or something like that. Or... You know, depending on the community, I'm going to get me a blonde, a blonde. Knows what I'm saying. Or I'm going to get me um, a red bone if you're in the black community. It depends, right? I mean, we not only wear these masks, but we put them on everyone else. How many men out there identify themselves, you know, by their status, by their position, by their car? You know, that car becomes a part of you. Now, style is important, but how many people identify more and more as that dude who drives that Lexus or what's the high car now? Mercedes, that's a classic one. Or even a sports car. Or even a Porsche Spider Hybrid. <laughs> yeah, y'all see what I want. <laughs> how many do that? But we get all of this stuff around us. And we create this image. We create this exo exoskeleton around us. But who are you really? Who are you really? You know, are we that car? Are we that home? Are we that profession? And when I say who are we, I'm talking about the essence. Who are you when you stand butt naked in a room, in an empty room? Who are you? Are you that type of person who can, you can have a minimal amount of clothes like plain clothing on and walk up to someone and be able to impress them just by your pure essence? And not even your looks, let's, let's, let's make it fun. Let's cover, let's dress yourself in such a way where your body isn't noticeable or your face is covered. So they can't tell from your looks. They can't tell from your body. Who are you? Who are you? What do you lean on? Can, can you impress someone if they can't see you? You know, before social media, maybe people would meet each other over the phone. Could you just talk with someone and impress them? And could you show them who you really are without saying, well, I went to this college or... I have this degree or something like that. You know, one of the things I tell in my coaching of men, you have to get past those props. You have to get past it. I tell that to women as well because many women do it as well. But who are you really? I want people to think about that. Who are you? What can you say about yourself that's not dependent on that degree that you have or what neighborhood you live in? You know, can they say anything about your character, your purpose? That's very important. What's your essence? What's your essence that doesn't require or that somebody look up your credit rating? 
I mean, you had people say, well, I have an 800 credit rating. Okay. Does that speak to your character, to your essence? What happens if something happens and that credit rating gets shot? Then what? Some people have an emergency. They might have a medical emergency. They may have a situation where they have to spend a lot of money and then they don't have the ability to pay it back. Has that changed their essence? No, it's just an emergency. That credit rating changes. You know, people will like live on their degree. They'll say, well, I'm this or that. But then they work in an uh, industry that has nothing to do with their degree. So were they really the degree or what, was it the degree that got them the job or the position or was it their essence? See, too often we hide or we, we lean on that mask. But see, here's the problem. That mask is not to be leaned on. If you have, the, if you have those degrees, they're just tools. They're just a certification that you had knowledge or that you had the, at least enough discipline and some money to get through a course. But that's not who you are. Your essence is who you are when you stand in front of the mirror and you look back at that person. There's nothing there but you. That, that is your essence. Who are you really? And I'm seeing that, like I say, this is men and women do this. This goes across races, this goes across social economic backgrounds, everything. You know? Are you that person who, when you strip away everything, when you strip away all that outer stuff, someone can say great things about you? Can they say that you're kind? That can they say that you're smart? Can you say that you're funny? That's who you are, the essence. The essence of who you are without the mask. But it's tough in this society. It's tough. Because people get so caught up in those things. I'm going to tell a story. I've told this story before. And it was a story told to me when I was in college. And I remember when the professor told us the story. He told us the story and then he dismissed the class. He told a story about a man whose face was burned terribly in a fire. And in order to cover up the burn marks, he had a mask made for him. It was a mask of a handsome man. When that man, he went out and he saw that his life changed. Money opportunities came his way. Women came his way. He was able to live great. But see, as that mask brought riches and sensual delights, it also brought pain. He found out there's a dark side to everything. And he couldn't handle it. Because it really, the mask ultimately still wasn't him. So he went back to the person who made him the mask. And he said, you must take this mask off. I can't deal with it anymore. So the person took the mask off. And then stood back and gasped. The man's face had become the mask. He had... Invested so much in the mask that he lost who he really was. Look, when we're out here, remember, look. Hey, a degree is important. A degree is important. Having a nice car is important. Have a nice place. You know, you join some fraternal order or something like that. That's good. Having a, I mean, those things are good. But keep it in perspective. Is that who you are? The problem comes when you identify with the mask more than your true essence. That other stuff, that's just gravy, you know? That other stuff is just there to help you get through, to get through life. You have to remember that. You have to keep that in mind. You have to keep a perspective no matter what. You can't, you can't get caught up in that car. You can't get caught up in that position. You can't get caught up in that status because that goes up and down. But at the end of the day, it's just you standing in front of that mirror, naked. So the question is, who are you really? Once you hear this, once you turn this off, once you do the things you do, take some time out for that one and think, who are you really? I want to thank you for listening. 
Thanks for everything. Let's keep rising and transforming. Peace and blessings.